the thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. After this, Joseph of Arimathea, secretly a disciple of Jesus for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate if he could remove the body of Jesus, and Pilate permitted it. So he came and took his body. Nicodemus, the one who had first come to him at night, also came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes weighing about 100 pounds. They took the body of Jesus and bound it with burial cloths along with the spices according to the Jewish burial custom. John 19, verse 38 to 40. Providence draws the lines of history perfectly. Joseph of Arimathea, besides being of the nobility, was closely associated with Pontius Pilate. These factors provided the favorable circumstances for him to obtain the necessary authorization for Jesus to be buried, not as a common criminal, but rather as a person of importance. Who, if not Joseph, would have had the courage to face the Roman governor to ask for the body of the crucified? For this reason, St. John Chrysostom says of him, Behold the courage of this man who risked his life, making himself the enemy of all in his affection for Jesus Christ. What a special grace was given to this Joseph to remove the divine body, victim of infinite value from the cross, and with the help of Nicodemus to place it in the sepulcher. O Jesus, in seeing thy lifeless body, my heart groans. I behold the hands that ordered the seas and storms, expelled the money changers from the temple, and benefited all of Israel, now stilled. Thy feet, which walked upon the water and traversed countless roads in search of the needy, are motionless. Thy voice, which made the Pharisees tremble, but kindly forgave repentant sinners, can no longer be heard. Thou are but one wound from head to foot. O sorrowful virgin, I beseech of thee the special grace of having before my eyes for the rest of my life this terrible image of the gravity of sin. Forgive me, my mother, forgive me. Help me to sin no more. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, victim for sinners, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithfully departed, through the mercy of God,